watch once over my name is big e today we're going to be looking at seiko's latest emperor tuna this one is the sla042 it goes for a price of three thousand nine hundred it's available right now at azfantime.com they're in stock now and this is just one of the seiko uh, models that they carry and they carry an array of high-end uh, Seiko watches they are your number one Seiko brick-and-mortar store so come check those guys out if you're in the Scottsdale area and I'll leave a link to this specific watch so you can go straight to it if you're interested in it now this is a Seiko saturation diver that has been made famous by the hockey puck shape back in the 70s and this diver is one of the first saturation divers without the need of a helium escape valve. The reason why they don't need a helium escape valve because the helium doesn't get in because this watch has special L-shaped gaskets and construction to keep the helium out. Now, let's turn it around on the back real quick. Now, there is a sticker on this. That's why it looks pebbled. But um, this is the latest model. It has a Kawaganga wave on there, but you can see it is a Prospects model. So you do have that Prospects X on here, okay? Now this watch does have a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating and it's a really thick crystal. You have this uh, tin coated bezel and screws that hold this uh, ceramic shroud together and also a really nice heavy duty crown. Now this watch is basically a lugless design it does have very small lugs underneath, which are basically 21 and a half inch uh, lugs. They're, they're really 22 inch lugs, but for safety measures, when you order like an aftermarket bracelet, you want to get like a special 21 and a half inch bracelet for this, and they do make those. Now, this does have holes in the minuscule lugs, as you can see right here. And this is all, um, DLC coated on the case and it the case is uh, titanium ceramic and uh, Steel it's so it's made of a mixture of metals now the bezel has a loomed pip on this one This one doesn't have any loomed uh, uh, insert on here only the uh, 12 o'clock triangle is fully graduated bezel and I don't know exactly what this material is in this bezel but it does have a translucent look to it because the numbers aren't sitting on top of the bezel. They're within the material. So I don't know exactly what they call that, but um, I don't think it's ceramic. Um, let me know in a comment if you know exactly what that is because I looked and I couldn't find it. Now, the watch does have a date over at the uh, 3 o'clock position along with a little... Uh, pip of Lumi Bright. It has these beautiful uh, hands on here. Syringe style arrow hand for the hour um, and then for the minute hand you have a big arrow pointer that is split and then you have a loomed lollipop on the second hand and just a, a, a normal um, counterbalance on here. Nothing special. Now as you can see it says Seiko X automatic professional 1000 meters so this is capable of diving most likely beyond a thousand meters because Seiko's are really underrated when it comes to their uh, diving uh, capabilities. Now, this watch has a really soft, supple uh, bracelet. One thing to note, inside this rubber bracelet, these are metal liners inside here. So it's just not rubber and a pin. There's metal liners in there. You get this... Um, gold uh, tin coated um, pin buckle and also a uh, keeper and that's all wrapped in plastic still I don't want to take that off it'll be for the new owner um, and then you have this really nice flat bezel I mean not flat bezel uh, flat dial flat 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 back dial um, and a fully graduated rehaul really really nice now powering this watch is a 50 hour power reserve 8L uh, 35 movement in here make sure you have 8L35 and that's an undecorated Grand Seiko movement these movements um, 
or plus or minus, I want to say 15 seconds a day, but they usually all pretty much learn COSC when you get up into the high level of Seiko, but um, they do give you a wider spectrum of um, daily accuracy than other brands, just to let you know um, that. If you see that, it's nothing to worry about. It's still a great watch. This watch is extremely accurate. It's a float, a front loader watch, meaning that the back is sealed for hermeticity and all the pieces go in through the front. So the bezel comes off, the crystal comes out, the movement comes out through the front. That's what you call a front loader. And it is in this monocoque case. So it is extremely heavy duty. Now the movement is made with a technology called MEMS technology. I believe that's Seiko's micro electronic um, technology to making the pieces really, really precise. And if you have more precise pieces, you have uh, better with the pieces meshing and fitting together. And thus you're going to have a longer uh, duration between services. So that is a really, really good thing. An 8L movement is a famous movement. Now let's take a look at the loom. I'll just cut the lights off right now, show you the transitioning loom. And as you notice, I did not charge this up. When you get to the level of Seiko, this is, you don't really need to charge them up. This is your transitioning loom. And this is going to be your nighttime shot. It's extremely powerful Lumi Bright. It is the latest formula of Lumi Bright. And this does last all night. Don't let anybody tell you different. When your eyes adjust, you will be able to roll over and see this on your nightstand, on your wrist. It does last all night. It is that good. Now, this is available, like I said before, at azfinetime.com. They are in stock now. This is a beautiful watch. I'll give you some quick measurements. Now, this is going to wear a lot smaller than it is. At the bottom of the case, is going to measure... 52 millimeters, but it's going to wear more like the bezel. So it's going to wear more like a 42, 43. That's because this conical shaped bezel, and I'll show you, it's wider at the base and it's narrower at the top. So it goes up sort of like a cone um, with the top cut off, if you can imagine that. And it just wears a lot smaller. Now the thickness on here is going to be a whopping 17 millimeters. And of course, uh, the lug to lug is actually only going to be a 39 if you measure these uh, holes on the inside. So, Emperor Tuna, it's ready to go. AL undecorated Grand Seiko movement beating at 4 hertz, 50 hour power reserve. Really nice watch available right now at azfinetime.com. Check this one out. My name is Big E. That's the watch ones over, over for today. God bless. Please subscribe. And as usual, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you.